Well, hello. It's kind of weird having all my monitors back. <laughs> no longer traveling. Let's see. What were we doing? Oh, yeah. We are making a spiffy little interface for our spiffy little bot. Well, hopefully. Let's... Pile. Hey! How's it going? How is everyone today? Looks like I'm 44 loyal to myself today. According to the Pokemon community game. Woot! <laughs> Uh, well, so, when last we were working on this, we have the back end running, and we kind of have a front end running. We're getting there anyway. So let's hop into... I don't want to look at debugger. I want to look here. Here in the client. And we need to start this one too. Can you believe one weekend and suddenly I'm like, how do I start this thing? <laughs> that gets just start. All right. Uh, that's not good. This guy should be on 3,000. Interesting. Nope. Let's, uh, let's go back here. First, kill this guy. I think it's because I did debug. Maybe if I just do start. Yeah, there we go. Now it's saying 3000. There we are. Yes. All right, so it goes over to 3001, but I am going to start getting issues because oh a lot bunny we're catching it actually let's take care of that real quick too i have to do a vanda trade under trade greater than level 10 that's it so just greater than level 10 How about you? You're not wonderful. Trading. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Chancy? A horrible ch Well, a kind of horrible Chancy. What level are you? 22? Well, that'll be helpful in the future, won't it? And I guess that means I did not catch the lump bunny. All right. Anyway. Uh, we are going to get cross-site issues. So we're going to have to enable that here again to 3001. I'll take care of that. Cool. Is this showing up? Yes, it is. I did want to make this go all the way down to the bottom, though. Um, I also found something interesting because... Man, I just no talk, no talk too good today. <laughs> uh, where are we? Chat messages. Okay. 
So I basically, is it chat messages? Where did my if go? Yeah, here we go. So I threw an if in here. Just so that I could have an empty container. Wow. Rereading your old stuff. This is why. <laughs> this is why you put in uh, more notes than what I have. So let me walk through this again. So the messages gets events. I create an array for the events. If there's nothing in there or it's zero or it, there's nothing in there, <laughs> then I return a chunk with essentially an empty div. Otherwise, I map them out. I create, let pushed event equal events, index, chatter username, events, index. Then I add the pushed event and I return the array. Turn the array from here. Then I create the container again. And there's the list. And I grab the event and the index and create that list item. The key is the index and the item is the event. So. Woof. Let's reload this. What's going on here? One fine dot note is depreciated. What is that in? Oh, this is in draggable. Okay. Invalid DOM property class, did you mean that is in React DOM development where? At app. Did I do that again? Did I leave class in place? That's fine. Warning, find DOM note is depreciated and will be removed. So I need to figure out, hmm, that's something that's in the draggable. Find DOM node is depreciated. All right, let's do a quick look for that. Because I'd rather not continue down this path if I'm doing something that's not going to exist. <laughs> this is specifically in... React draggable. This comment may help you. Or 
the forking react and reworking it to not use. <laughs> Wow, this is four years ago that this started cropping up. Interesting. The warning isn't printed in production. <laughs> Is it just grid layout? I didn't notice that. Strict mode. No, it's just JS bundle. Instead, add a ref directly to the element you want to reference. But again, that's that's something that's in in there directly. I guess I'm just dealing with it for now. I need this to not be in line. <laughs> like this takes up the whole thing. That still is just, that bothers me. <laughs> So in app right now, let me minimize all the stuff I'm not using. We'll drag state on start on stop. I think on drop is where I'm going to be checking to see if I'm overlapping anything. This I just saved for the sake of argument. All destructured elements are unused. Delta position is assigned a value but never used. Okay, don't care. Yeah, this is all just not, not used stuff. I guess I could just console log them just so that they're used, right? <laughs> All right, so this one is app control and it grabs drag handlers. Okay. Which one did I do? Oh, here we go. On enter and on leave. This is going to be one of those days. Let's minimize that guy. Oh no, not the div. I want the draggable minimized. And then that drag could be minimized. Maybe I should add. Ooh, this is. Do I have to do it HTML style? Now I'm like, wait, what? Let's do a quick check. Um, well, up here, I definitely have the whack whack, but that's in Java. Why do I keep expanding them to be doing that? Mm 
boom, boom. So here. Do not be fooled by 12 answers. <laughs> they talk about the same thing. Oh, okay. So that's how a comment works. That makes sense in a weird sort of way. So it's just boom, boom, star. All right. Uh, instead of draggable component, though, in this case, we are... This is the connection item. And then we'll... Cappy. And... Pasta. Uh, I shouldn't say item. These are components. Compo. There we go. At least that way I can just at a glance go. What was that? What was that for again? Oh yeah. All right. So. I'm going to screw around, I think, with just the connection component, which I think is what I was doing already because I added the on enter and on leave madness. All right. So you go in, you go out. It's kind of interesting. It's like if I carry it in to the other item and then out, that's one way. But if I just do that, it doesn't count as an overlap. So I've got on mouse enter. We go up to on mouse enter. Wingle. You know, I don't know <laughs> what my current Pokeball status is. I could be throwing all kinds of random crap right now. Oh, I got 17. I'm fine. This is fine. It's all fine. I should probably mention it's going to be another short week. Um, I'm not going to be able to stream on Thursday or Friday for that matter. But, and that's going to happen again next week. It's just been a rough month, rough couple of months at this point. Does it show that on my face? All right, so I'm going to do a console log. Um, yeah, why not? So we'll go back here. Give it a reload. That one doesn't care. Oh, that's interesting. Why is that happening? It's like if my mouse gets off of it. And then it drops it. But I don't see anything, any reason that it's actually being dropped. Cool, I got a wingle. Let's take a look at it. Wingle. A level two wingle. Horrible, horrible, horrible. How about we just sell you? Bye.
I can use the money. Okay, so that's the active drags. Maybe I should do the whole state. So that's just when it goes in there. That gets printed. Kind of. Sometimes. Is it the entire window? Yeah, okay, it's the entire window. So I've got that in the wrong place then. I don't want that to be on the entire window. I want it just on the handles just on this so how do I do it so it's not on the entire thing just on this let's take a look Installing exports, draggable usage. Control, what's controlled versus uncontrolled? Draggable is a battery included that manages its own state. If you want to completely control, oh, that's the draggable core, okay. Oh, I need to go to that example so I can see Where's that example? Demo. So like, so it's keeping this is where I left it. So it's keeping state. Why doesn't mine keep state? It's kind of odd to me. Handle drag, blah, blah, blah. This is all the on state stuff that I added. It's possible that I'm getting the hovered from somewhere else. That could be on me. Well, I wrote it, it's on me. <laughs> Draggable with drag handlers is on start and on stop. Okay. So this is even written in, I'm realizing now, the older style. Oh boy. I might be changing again. <laughs> Cause like one of the things that I found is where's the drop guys? I have a default, I depend on the CSS hack. I'm using spin instead. I have absolute. I 
I can be dropped into another box. This one is actually missing. And the parent, despite saying it's draggable, isn't draggable. But the I can be dropped on another box box isn't working. Or it's not here unless it's underneath this. Let's new tab you. So this says I can detect drops from the next box. Oh, so I can just do on mass enter and then do that one. So if I'm looking at mine, I've got on drop area mouse enter. Instead, I just do it here. like so then I can take you out and then same deal it has mouse leave or exit leave away all right now it's only looking at that cool that's what I want and it it, it clears out right when I exit which is nice there's no more is it, is it, is it, is it? But that's changing. I feel like I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> because this is getting huge mangulus. leave does this on mouse enter does that if I look at this guy so this says I can detect drops from the next box so that means I should be able to do this boom and I should detect it Or I should be doing this over there because, well, that makes more sense. On drop area mouse enter. Let's get rid of that. So we know what it's getting, what it's sending. Actually do that well 
what do we get there? So that's that synthetic event. Native amount, alt key. just the view what I'm wondering about now is okay how do I make it so that other stuff gets out of the way right um, which I hate to say it but the other draggable library I was using or that I was investigating seemed to have that Let's take a look. Instead of React Dragon, let's look at some other ones. Because there was another one. Yeah, this was the other one. But this one also hasn't really been updated in a while. And do I want to rewrite this again? I just got it working, right? Do I still have it installed? I think I do. Testing, testing, react, react, draggable. Oh no, I don't. Sneasel. We are pokey catching. Let's try it. Let's go back to it. Now that I've got a little bit more. I say that, but this was what? Last week. But I have a little bit more experience with React at this point. I've got a few things that make a little bit more sense. Parser micro patch. It's got a fix available, fix available. That requires a force. We'll install React scripts, which is a breaking change. No one caught the sneasel. How dare they? Well, since I'm just testing, <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it just yet. But it's on the to-do list, let's just say. All right, so I'm doing all my draggable stuff here. I'm going to just create a new one. We're going to call you. Draggable test. Dot, what is it? T-S?
Yeah, and that seems right. It's TypeScript, right? Yeah, okay. So actually, let's just grab all of this. Cannot be, but we're returning. Wait, what? Is it because I'm doing this TypeScript and I'm doing it wrong? <laughs> because of course I am. Oh, it's it, that's right. The constants thing doesn't exist. This was what I ran into last time. Basically, I can just get rid of that. Parsing error expected. Cannot find div. Div is under what? What is this thing's problem? Oh, well, that doesn't need to exist. does it so it doesn't like you because item types doesn't exist oh right so I can just say card sure It's not assignable to what? Argument of type. Import item types from constants. Second package will allow that. You may choose this. Okay, so. Let's go to their GitHub and actually look at their examples there again. is this so much different than this versus this oh it's just loading in a separate okay this is a sample app you'll build as you work through the tutorial Who's down to tutorial with me? Yay! Now that you've read the overview, right? <laughs> In this tutorial, we're gonna build a chess game. Let's 
tutorial, the code examples are using function components and modern JavaScript syntax. It's recommended to use a build step to transpile, transpile these features into your target environment. I recommend using create React app. Our lonely night piece, a square and the board. Knight probably needs no props as a position, but there's no reason for the knight to know it because it can be positioned by being placed into a square as a child. Attempting to give square its position via props, but this again is not necessary because the only information it really needs for the rendering is the color. I'm going to make square white by default and add a black boolean. And of course, square may accept a single child, the chess piece. The board is tricky. It makes no sense to pass square as children to it because what else would a board contain? Therefore, it probably owns the square but then it also needs to own the knight because the guy needs to be placed this means the board needs to know the knight's position a knight position prop will suffice <sighs> Where will the current state live? I really don't want to put it in the board component. It's a good idea to have as little state in your components as possible because board will already have some layout logic. Don't want to also burden it. <laughs> uh, when your components are your children. Export return. So it's just returning the night. So this is, this is again using the old style. This is something I run into a lot with these tutorials, like which, I, I wish it would specify, like, well, I guess technically it can't specify because technically they weren't using the other one. So it would just be like, well, we're using the normal one back when it was written. This should still be possible. I'm not understanding why this is a problem. I understand why this is a problem. It doesn't exist. <laughs> and I don't know what it is. Where is their examples GitHub?
Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's look at... I think it was sortable. I mean, we can check, right? Sortable. Simple. Yeah, see, these kind of get out of the way. That's kind of what I want. And that is simple. So here's an item types. Really? So this sets those IDs manually, but that's easy enough. I can I can make that. Well, actually, I wouldn't need to. Sandaconda. And here is just export container and its default. From container.js. But there is no container.js. container FC what is FC in this case import type FC from react I'm having some serious deja vu functional component okay So then when I look at this, it's just saying that the container is a functional component. Unresolved. This is still bothering me the way this is set up. Return. Is it because of 
this silliness? No, I didn't think so. I mean, it can only return one, so... And that is one. So what the deal is? Although it, in their own thing, does it that way. They put it in a, what's that called, a fragment? Yeah. So if I then go to index.js and instead of app, I do now it'll give me the wait what cannot resolve draggable test I'm looking at it do I have to make the dot ts okay now we're getting the error <laughs> the actual error App is defined but never used, don't care. Error in type parameter list cannot be empty. What? argument in it cannot be empty well this is angular so it's a little bit different you can make it new map in I don't think that's what I want This error usually occurs in TypeScript when you try to use a generic component without providing any type parameters. So is this going to be the same sort of thing where, like here it says the function is card. Um, let me look you. This one. So here it's saying that it's a type of FC. So the const is container FC. So do I need to do that? Because I've got all of React, right? Default function card. Unexpected token. What do I need to do? Like that? No, that's backwards. Because that says it's called container and it is an FC. As soon as I do this, it breaks.
missing initializer in constant declaration. Oh jeez, am I reading? Ten twenty one missing error, comma expected. What? just looked too messy all right let's put all of this back now it's saying that this is expected do I just need to get rid of that no FC equals I mean it's got it as an arrow function I just now got a notification that I can manage my stream from Twitch <laughs> or from the Twitch app awesome Like this is acting like it's working, but then this fails. Is there something in here where the return? I mean, why not? Let's just do this. I don't think this is going to fix it. No. I was like, maybe there's something different in there that I'm missing. I think I need to spend a little bit more time going through a couple of tutorials on, on React. Because this is not making a lot of sense to me. Or uh, probably not even React, probably mostly TypeScript. Because I'm it's not a format I'm used to at all. something if I do this and I copy and I rename you to that oh look but then I need to go y'all and we rename you cannot resolve constants Oh, I just need to rename you JS. <laughs> Why does it say there's an error in draggable test.ts? Let's kill it and start it again. drag drop context 
Ah, but we're not getting any other errors. We're getting an error specifically from this. Okay. That's a step forward. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Expected drag drop context. Is it because I don't have any text? I mean, I'm just shot in the dark there. It is still ridiculous to me that this is So is dragging and text. It works with your components. Instead of providing ready-made widgets, React TND wraps your components and injects props into them. If you use React Router or Flummox, you already know this pattern. Uh, unidirectional data flow. It hides platform quirks. It's extensible touch support, non-goals. I mean, <laughs> why not? I'm going to put this on the back burner. We'll visit that later. Hey, a spritzy. Loyalty is 47. I am 47 loyal. Let's cheat and do a quick check. Hey, I got the spritzy. Nice. It's got one fantastic. Okay, so the idea, I think, is I have something here. Let's make card text equals write the docs. Trying to figure out what it means by that. Like, do I just, if I have a variable called text, collect monitor, div ref drag ref style is open. All right. Let's, yeah, let's do this guy. What's this look like? Let's just start at the beginning. Single target, real basic. Export container as default, cool. Item types is box instead. Container in this case is import box. And dustbin. Export constant.
import use drag. Works with any effect. Drag a box here. Oh. So I can put the glass there. You move glass to any. You move glass to. Works with move, drop, copy. You cannot move an item into the copy. This dustbin accepts paper, but not magazine, or not banana, not bottle. But props of both the drag sources change every second. Okay. That's kind of funny that it grabs it. <laughs> that one does a better job. Forbid drag. No, no I can't drag. drag the whole thing.
and back. You moved glass to any dustbin. I'm not sure what this one is trying to show. All right. Works with copy drop effect. You cannot move an item into the copy. You moved. You cannot move an item into the copy. This example demonstrates drop targets that can accept copy and move drop effects, which users can switch between by holding down or releasing the Alt key. Oh, okay, so wonk, wonk. You copied paper. You cannot copy. Okay. Now I see what it's saying. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to read. All right, so we just, right now, I just want to make it so I can move the stupid thing around. None of these seem to really have, well, this kind of does because it goes from here to there, right? So this actually moves. So let's look at what's going on in there. It's like, when reading through that tutorial. We have the night item. Now that we've read the overview, let's try this again. Just to be sure, I immediately changed my entry point to test it. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be index. So that I always have something to render. In a larger app, I would use a component playground like Cosmos, so I'd never write the components in the dark. I see my note on the screen. Time to go ahead and implement the square net. Export default square black. strict mode I have my CSS and right now I'm only putting the card in place and that's with root.renders which is basically the same idea as this so I can probably boom boom just to get rid of an error Of your dependencies. Eh, don't worry about it. So I'm exporting the card. This has export square. And what is the error that this thing's saying? Expected drag drop context. I 
to see how the knight looks inside. So it's got a square and, and puts the knight inside the square. Cool. I forgot to give square any dimensions, so it just collapses. I forgot to put children inside the div returned by the square. So it ignores the knight pass to it. So it's got square. Come on, Junior. Give it to me. Aw. I can still do that. Or can I? Does that mean I already have a mime junior? No. Oh, well. Neither here nor there. Actually, does my... No, that's not where... Oh, there it is. It is working. Cool. It still disappears way too fast. Yep. I want to make that cool. I will make that cool. But that's what all of this is about. <laughs> No one caught it. Womp womp. Alright, so in this, this is a square item and it exports a default function of square and it's black and children. So that throws the children in it. That means that it's Ah, interesting. So in this case, that's here. Okay, okay. I s I'm already already making friends. So if I go to my index here, my problem is card, and then I need blah 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 and slash card. Well, I thought it was smart. I guess I wasn't. Expected drag drop context. Which is probably something that I'm going to get to in this, right? Because this is all just filling it in. Think, think. All right. So none of this is even using drag and drop yet. My only intention so far is to make it render so I can start tweaking it. Finally, time to get started with the board. I'm going to start with an extremely naive version that just draws the same single square. So it's square and night and export default function board. So wait a minute. Oh, okay. So the square doesn't import. Where is that being written? Is that being written here? No, because it's not React DOM. So that component is just importing these components now. Indeed, I can see the same single square. Now I'm going to add a whole bunch of them. I don't know where to start. What do I put in render? A for loop, a map. This means I can write render square method and not worry about rendering the whole board.
back is x plus y modulo 2. If there's a remainder, then it's black. <laughs> is night here? Peace is night here. If it is, then night, otherwise null. Okay. I like that I can at least, I'm getting to the point where I can start reading it. <laughs> uh, I can already give it a world by changing the board's rendering to B. Render square, render square, render square. At this point, I realized I forgot to give my squares any layout. I'm going to use Flexbox. Add in some styles to the root div and also wrap the square into squares into div so that I could lay them out. React square and night. Function render square is do all of this stuff. T equals I style. Uh, nope. Square black equals black. Piece square. Style flex, flex wrap, wrap, squares. Not quite there yet, but that's something. We went from nothing to being able to move night on a beautiful board by changing the night position. the night draggable what we need in order to pull this off is to keep the current night position in some kind of state storage actually I'm curious about that where is I'm going to do a new tab because I want to look at it. Examples, that's what I want. What was that? I was gonna look at something there and now I don't remember what it was. Okay, I've got it there. The declarativeness is fantastic. Is to keep the current night position in some kind of state storage and have some way to change it. Because setting up this state requires some thought, we won't try to implement dragging at the same time. Instead, we'll start with a simpler imp implementation. We will move the knight when you click a particular square, but only if this is allowed by the chess rules. You can use Flux, Redux, Rx, or even Backbone. Nah. Avoid fat models and separate your reads from writes.
So I'm going to follow a simpler pattern. Uh, honestly, never heard of Redux, so that's something I'm going to have to look at. Existing. Let's do that. There's got to be a what is. <laughs> to get started, create the app. scale as well as Redux, but I also don't need it to not decided on the API from a state manager yet, but I'm going to call it game. And we'll definitely need to have some way of signaling data changes to my React code. because I'm still figuring out the API. Observe, map position, react on render. What is the observe function? It's just the most minimal way I can think of to subscribe to changing the state. I could have made it an event emitter, but why on earth even go there when all I need is a single change event? I could have made game an object model, but why do that? So this is a whole bunch of... I'm doing it this way because it's simple, not because it's the right way. <laughs> All right, but that's fine. Because again, that that's not the, the area that this example is supposed to be playing. And I guess it is the point. And that makes sense. Just to verify that the subscription API makes some sense, I'm going to write a fake game that emits random positions. This obviously is not useful. If we want some interactivity, we're going to need a way to modify the state. Like halfway through this, and it hasn't even started on the tutorial of what I'm interested in. It is kind of nice as a React primer, I guess. This is obviously not very useful if we want some interactivity. Okay. For now, I'm going to keep it simple and expose a move night function. Position equals zero zero. Let observer equals no. Bit change. Observer night position. If observer throw new error multiple observers not implemented. If observer Oh, because okay, I see. So if it's already set, then there's a problem. Gotcha. Smoochum. 
Pokey catching. All right, so this emit change is observer that, but this is the one that's why is it calling observer like it's a function, but it's no. We'll just continue on and see what we get. <laughs> Our goal at this point is to move the knight to a square that is clicked. On the way to do that, is to call move knight from the square itself. However, this would require us to pass the square its position. Here's a good rule of thumb. If a component doesn't need some data for rendering, it doesn't need that data at all. Okay. The square does not need to know its position to render. Therefore, it's best to avoid coupling it to the mood knight method at this point. Instead, we're going to add an on-click handler to the div that wraps the square inside the board. We could have also added an on-click prop to square and used it instead, but since we're going to remove the click handler in favor of the drag and drop anyway, why bother? There. Oh man, no smooching. The last missing piece right now is the chess rule check. The knight can't just move to an arbitrary square, it's only allowed to make L-shaped moves. I'm adding a can move knight to function to the game and changing the initial position to B1 to match chess rules. Wait, didn't I have That's the installation. Okay, so it's at Bishop One. No, that's Bishop One. It'd be King Queen, Bishop, Knight, Rook. Okay, no, it's it's a K one. B one? Am I miss am I misremembering my labeling? Entirely possible. So the night position is one seven. So it's zero indexed. Understandable. Can move knight to X. Finally, I'm adding a can move knight check to the handle square. This is the part that actually prompted me to write this. Okay. So this is where I'm failing the drag and drop context.
Okay. So that's what I need. So if I go back here to draggable test. different drag use drag so why does that look so much different than their own example why does this example look different than their example all right const is dragging drag is use drag It's got the types. It says collect monitor. Now, in this case, it's got opacity. I guess I don't need this really. Why am I still expected drag drop context when I definitely have it in drag accepts a specific object the item type property is required it specifies the type of item being dragged we could also attach extra information here to identify the, t the kind of piece collect defines the collector function this is basically a way to transform state from drag and drop usable props for your component. The result array
so I've got drag rev. They're defining the opacity in the is dragging. There. It doesn't say anything about cursor. That's in the return, right? Yeah. Div ref style. Style is opacity. They've got is dragging, but I've already got that there. changing where the error is. Export default night. It is export default function card. Expected drag drop context. Oh, it doesn't have that here. This is back at index, or basically this is at board. So I'm trying to wrap, okay, okay, I think I see. I go here. Boom, boom. I need you here. And then I do. So, ah, that's something. I mean, it's not nothing. My card's not there, but I'm not erroring anymore. steps forward, one step back. All right, so going back to this, we now have the provider. And in theory, we've got the card, which is draggable. Card's not showing anything because it's just text. So I need to add a style to the card, probably. Ladybug. Did we catch it? No, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you. 
so back over here in card. The style we have as opacity. Should I add, I think I need a border. Yeah. Borders are always cool. There's no border. <laughs> All right, I need a size. There we go. Ah, and I can drag it. It just doesn't, it's not really draggable. We're getting someplace. I still see my text, but you know. Details. Oops. So now if I apply what I've got here to instead say my chat message here because then I'm putting it here instead of all in here right so I want to can I just duplicate you come on I want to go in here and we're basically just going to clear all of this stuff out. I think use effect I need to keep. Yep. But basically everything else can go. case this one is oh this is the overall app so we've got the app app menu bar cool then we have the control area which is what we want we get rid of draggable here away I didn't do anything else silly here just get rid of draggable and in this case I'm actually going to wrap everything in why are you still red oh this So everything here, instead of doing it here, actually it's even fine if I leave it there, huh? Realistically, 
I just need to go back to doing. Um, card is defined but never used. That's true. You can go away. You can come back. You need to go where you're supposed to be. And right now these are not draggable. Cool. That's that's fine. But they will be. And the draggable is going to be tied to them. Specifically as opposed to uh not. <laughs> Stick with me, this gets better, I swear. Just adjusting in the chair. I think I need a more... I think I need a better chair. Alright. So right now... I create the div if there's no events. I mean, no matter what, I should be returning the div, right? So I'm going to have to look at how to clean that up a little bit, but that's okay. What we need to add is what we had here in draggable test. Uh, let me start closing some of these things. I need to stop this debugger thing from showing up too. It's kind of annoying me. We don't need you. We don't need you. You're fine for now. Actually, well, I'll, I'll burn that bridge when I come to it. But this should be loading probably the my form because the idea behind the my form is that's going to be a, a response area where I can make the bot just kind of say random stuff as a starting point and I think I'm going to have yeah I need another quick break Hell.
And we're back. I believe. Let's do a double check. Yeah, we're back. All right. So now we've got these things. I do still need to make this the grabbable. And actually, I still need to make them movable again. So let's do that. Um, so our constants, we have an item type of card. So each one of these is going to be a card. Actually, should I just use draggable? And then I can just put that item in a draggable. Does that make sense? It seems like I'm duplicating code. No, I, I need to do this way. Uh, all right, so for chat messages, by default, it's got events. We just also need to add uh, boom is dragging. And we get is dragging because we need use drag. Right here. I'm gonna need I'm probably gonna need to clean all this stuff up because I've got too many returns in there. So the default function card is dragging and then it's got the the thing that's in there. Does that mean I need to Dusk Noir? So the idea here is that anything encapsulated by this is, and in this case, that's just text, is able to be dragged. So I've already got messages here as my default. If I instead, if I just make function messages, we get rid of dragging. Maybe I just do message box like that. Then here, I basically do this. Cappy. And I minimize you. And we do this. And we do. Messages is dragging text, but instead of text here, I do message box. Item types is not defined and text is not defined. Well, that's fine. I need you. Then get rid of you. I'm going to copy you and I'm going to paste you in here. And then we'll do the same thing up of 
import item types from constants. Line on drop, okay, in app export messages imported as messages was not found. exports default what element type is invalid expecting a string for built-in components or a class function for composite you likely forgot to export your component from the file that it's defined in or you might have mixed up default and named imports Import messages imported as messages not found. Oh, I didn't catch the dusk noir. Womp womp. All right, let's continue. Actually, so in this case, it's like the board. Well, no, the board would be the app area, the app. Kind of. So we've got the item types. The night is... The night is my chat window, basically. So I'm exporting constant this, and then it's got this. It's got a drag preview. because it's got this. Now, if I do this, does it show up in there? No, it does not. And is that because, no. What about here? new message oh because messages has to have something coming in okay so that's that's an issue which makes sense because I need message box events so I do also need events like that is that gonna I don't think that's gonna do it but let's take a look Shunk. let 
no, not showing up there. Alright, so I'm getting this card to show up, but the card is not the message box. I think, oh, uh, you know what? I think I need to make the card and then then I just need to wrap everything in a card. Yeah, so I need a component that is card. That is actually going to handle, say, here. Boom, boom, boom. It's going to go. It's going to go here. I'm going to have to clean up some of this mess that I have made. <laughs> Basically get rid of most of what I did in here. Because it is fine. And here my draggable test instead of being text I just add what was that I just add the children flag right actually let me just copy all of you copy we'll go here bam instead of text we say children and that goes here. And that should allow me to wait, what's the problem? Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Pink, pink, pink. I don't need this. I guess I don't need your component either. As nice as that looks. Alright, so now in app. I do. I need to import card import card <laughs> all right so i've got this div which gets strong and div it throws messages in it what is this div yeah okay and then boom, slash card slash Card. And I need to go um, import. Export card imported as card not found.
Sure. Okay. It looks weird, but that's because of the size requirement, I think. I think that's because I have this in there. If I just get rid of this, what we got? All right, it thinks it's 100% width. But now we're cooking with gas and and it shows up again. All right, so then I need to change this. Can I do Can't do flex box. Um, I need the div to just wrap its containing object. So let's refresh a little CSS. Make div fit content. And as answered, there's a couple ways to do this. Float, inline, mid, max. Solutions to set your div to display inline block. A whalemer. I'll take a whalemer. see what we're looking at hey that's looking pretty spiffy i don't like that it suddenly centered it but we're getting somewhere but now i need to make it so that i can actually just move it around like it's all well and good that i can drag it but why is it wider than oh it's not that's the encapsulating do. Um, so we want padding is zero. <laughs> no, just zero. everything padding border draggable is defined but never used in app.js hey i caught a whalemer let's take a look at our new whale friend that is a whale friend only level five how much time i have 45 minutes left on a trade what level does he need to be to evolve? 40. No Pokedex entry. What does that mean? Oh, I have to have seen one of these to be able to evolve. Interesting. I wanted a Sandagast. Those things are funny looking. Anyway. All right, so display is inline block, padding is zero. Actually, 
now we can check, can I get an app? Oops, it does need to be capitalized. Div is right here. All right. I mean, they're not actually draggable, but you know. That goes nowhere. I'm not sure if this is better yet, but we shall see. I am probably going to need to for the app control area. is the border. Alright, so now I need to figure out how to make these movable within this space, which I think is going to be kind of like what the other library was doing, where I just have to make this a grid, right? Which is pretty close to what's going on here. And of course I'm going in absolutely a backwards direction in that this tutorial builds everything up and then makes it movable. <laughs> I made it movable and now I've got to build everything up. All right, so what we're going to be working with is the app control area, which is going to kind of work the same way as card where it's, it's got a children and the children are just everything that's underneath it. I wonder if I should clean some of this up. Like, draggable test can go. I don't need you anymore. App copy, and I'll stick with for now. Uh, I feel like this folder is getting kind of messy, but okay for now. Actually, I don't even notice. Is the bar? Okay, the bar's still up there. That's good. <laughs> None of these links go anywhere, but... Meh. So I guess if I'm going to call those cards, then I need a new file that's going to be called what? Table. Um, it 
yeah, we'll just go with control area. Dot chess. <laughs> Dot chess. Rename. All right, so we'll stick with the, actually we'll grab all of these. And real quick, let's look at what this guy's doing. Define drag types. All right, let's go back to where the board is getting created. I'm going to have to make a card position. One second. that goes up for by only one for every Pokemon that you catch in a channel that's rough that is a long way to go all right so the board has a in this case the board has a night position do that with multiple nights. I mean, that's basically what each one of the cards is, right? This is closer to what I want. Maybe. Collected props equals use drag layer monitor collected props. Projects an end your component. It receives two parameters, monitor and props. Read the overview. something across the screen we don't say that a component or a DOM node is being dragged instead we say that an item of a certain type is being dragged an item is a plain JavaScript object describing what's being dragged an item might look like card ID 42 What is a type then? A type is a string or a symbol. Okay. Types are useful because as your app grows, you might want to make more things draggable, but you don't necessarily want all the existing drop targets 
to suddenly start reacting to the new items. Drag and drop is inherently stable. Either a drag operation is in progress or it isn't. just the timer on my app that has stopped. <laughs> Actually, I just noticed this statistics button, which doesn't work because it's crashed. It was just the timer that was crashed. It's just incredibly slow at the moment. All right. A thievel? What the heck is a thievel? Let's see if I caught one to find out. I did not catch one. So let's go see what it is. It evolves from Nicket. From Generation Ow, oh, okay. Brilliant Diamond. Bonus render method, we are then able to access both the data obtained from the monitor and the function obtained from the connector. Represented. Yes, I know it got away. Remind me again. Uh, how do we configure our components to actually have those props injected? How do we perform the side effects? Use drop, accept, 
drop target. Parameters are spec, a specification object, or a function that creates a specification. Okay. sure what I'm going to be doing later is reading up exactly how to create a grid for this because I don't think I want to do a full like I don't want to make those I don't want to make basically a uncolored chessboard right Let's make a box draggable. Use drag function box is draggable drag preview. The drag graph box is known as being a the pickup node. I go here to chat message. Oh, wait, no, it's card. Oh, but I'm wrapping card. So ref is drag ref. In this case, it just says ref drag. drag source. Let me poke back through these examples again real quick. So this is more like what I want. So let's look at what they did there. Not there. Here. No. Do I need to open another? No, it's here. Okay. So the one I was looking at is drag around. <laughs> There's a lot to it. for interface drag item ID top and left okay oh okay so it snaps to the grid here the container is the space that it can drag in which we've kind of already got sort of the source item while dragging. No. Oh, that's kind of funny. I can drag it kind of out, but I can't get it all the way out. Oh. 
Yes, I can. How far can I get it? I wonder if that... <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. That's kind of funny. Can I go the other way? Yep. So that bounding box isn't very uh, bounding, it seems. Now, if I reload this page, okay, they're back. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> the preview seems to be an interesting... Uh... All right, well, I'm screwing around with their demo. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing they have, it looks like if we go to index, export example as default from example. Snap to grid after drop. Set snap to grid after drop is use state false. Where, oh, there we go. So use callback and use state, okay. Snap to grid while dragging, snap to grid, that's use state false, okay. Handle snap to grid after drop change handle snap to grid while dragging change okay HTML for snap to grid while drag. Type is checkbox. Checked is snap to grid while dragging, but that's not there. Oh, that's oh, that's the cape. I think I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, okay, so that's here. have kind of the same problem. So you can go smooth or the snap to grid. Let's look at that one. Looks smaller. Why not, right? So it's going to be kind of the same. Add source on drag, set horse. Toggle. Uh, 
right source input. Uh, okay, so it's importing container and that's the container and then it throws that underneath it. So in container, container has a box. I drag the item and an item type. It has the CSS properties for the container, solid line. Container state, boxes, top, left, title. Use state, top, left, title. So in this case, it's defining it, um, but I would need it's creating these as an object. So I would just need that to be children, I guess. See, this throws me. That I'm not sure how to read yet. Okay, this makes sense. It's setting those two things from the result of this. Okay, that's fine. It's setting what? Anything and drop? Bellsprout. Did I get a Bellsprout? I did. Cool. Perfect defense. So it creates a box. This is how the box looks. Dude, class name ref style. Should just be box. Yep. Interfaces are the drag item. All right. I think this is where I'm calling this for today. <laughs> uh, I've got some more reading to do. Shocker. Um, if you were hanging out, just lurking. Thanks. Thanks for giving me some of your time and spending some of your day with me. If you're on YouTube catching up with this, uh, thanks for making it all the way to the end. Really cool of you. Do the old like and subscribe or don't, you know, up to you. Uh, go here. Hello. 
And again, just say thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you all tomorrow. And apparently my app did crash. There we go.